What's up guys, hope everyone's feeling good today. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what are the best wheels for mini ramp skating. This is a question I've been asked many times over the years, and I've never really made like a straight out video talking about my thoughts on, you know, what are the best wheels. Just a disclaimer, I don't know that there is one best wheel, like blanket statement anyone could just say, and like, you know, there's so many different types of ways to skate transition, you know? You could skate big bowls or pools or be more technical, you could, you know, just so many different styles. So it's really what works best for you. So I'm gonna share what worked best for me and my thoughts on like, you know, what wheel works best for each style of skating. So the first thing that I think about is size. If I'm thinking about just mini ramp skating, I'm thinking between 52 and 56 millimeters. 56 for me is definitely on the bigger side, but I'm just taking into account how just about like everyone skates and what they skate. For me, I like 52 millimeter. That's what I've ridden forever. I've messed around with 54s. It's nice having a little more speed. You know, the bigger the wheel, the easier it is to pump around the ramp and less kind of effort you have to put in to, you know, get some speed. But I like to flip my board and I just like the way it feels. Something else to consider is I went up to a 56 millimeter wheel and I can, almost every single try backsmith across this six foot mini ramp. When I put that wheel on, I was sticking constantly. So granted, it's a different, you know, it's changing the space in between my trucks. So it's gonna make for a different lock-in. So I don't know if it's just, um, you know, I would have to adjust and get a bigger truck, like a wider truck so that it would compensate for what the wheels are taking up. But for me, it just felt a little too bulky. You know, I like the smaller wheel and the thinner wheel um, for my lock-ins and also because it's a little easier to move around when I'm doing flip tricks and stuff like that. Now, if I was gonna be skating like a vert ramp or something like that, I would at least be riding 54s, you know, maybe even 56s. That's an area I haven't really dabbled with too much, but whenever I do, I know like these 52s, I'm gonna be pumping so hard just to get up to the coping. So 54s at least, for vert, but again, that's not really my forte. Something else bigger wheels can help with is if you're skating maybe pools, you know, it can help to get over a big coping, right? Because the bigger the wheel is, the easier it's gonna roll over something. So if you got a big piece of coping, you know, the smaller the wheel, you're gonna hit into it and kind of clank and it's gonna be more difficult. So if you have a bigger wheel, in general, it's gonna be easier to make it over the coping. Now, that being said, this video is basically focusing on mini ramps and what's best for mini ramp skating. So let's say you got a 56 millimeter wheel and you ride like an eight inch board or something like that. Your trucks are gonna be like kind of thin and then you're gonna have this big wheel, right? So it's gonna almost feel like sideways when you're on the coping and your axle stall, you know, it's gonna almost create a slant and feel a little off. So, you know, you might need to widen your board if you're gonna go that big with, you know, a bigger wheel. So in general, I'd say the 52 to 56 millimeter range should work well for mini ramp. I can see a world where 50s works pretty well for you and maybe you change them out quicker and you just like new wheels on, like nice fresh wheels. For me, I like these 52s a little broken in. So, you know, a 50 millimeter wheel might be perfect for that. I also, the width of the wheel tends to change as you go smaller. So the width of a 52 millimeter wheel just feels better. So that's what I like to stick with. But again, if you're flipping your board around a ton and you're just way more of a technical mini ramp skater, a 50 millimeter wheel might be perfect for you. This is just a general range of what people skate. Okay, and another important thing I focus on is the hardness of the wheel. So I tend to ride 101A durometer wheels. I like a nice hard wheel when I'm skating mini ramp. Soft wheels were never really my thing. I'll use them for cruiser boards and stuff like that. But like, you know, I'm always doing tricks, flipping my board. I don't like one, the bounce, like the rebound that a softer wheel has. Also, I like being able to slide my wheels. A lot of the tricks I do depend on my wheel being able to slide. So if I'm on concrete and I have a soft wheel, it's gonna be much harder to slide. So that's with, you know, doing front and backside tail slides or even like a hurricane grind. You're gonna to wanna to slide your wheels on the ramp and kind of get light footed 
And if you've noticed, a lot of the tricks I do, maybe it's an alley-oop, you know, 50-50 grind, stuff like that, you all, all of them, you have to slide your wheels. So if you got a really soft wheel, it's gonna be much harder to do that. And then there's other slides you don't even really take into account. Like when I do feebles to fakie, for example, like grinding, I like to sometimes, I, when I'm coming in, I'll almost power slide it right off the coping and it gives me this kind of control when I'm coming in. Um, almost like a blunt slide as I'm coming out of it. Uh, pivot fakies, sometimes when you're coming in you tend to get light footed and do a little skirt. So there are tons of movements where you don't realize that little bit of give is helping you. The one downside to having a really hard wheel is if you skate indoor skate parks, Maybe it's really dusty in there, super, super smooth ground, or maybe a dusty like skate light ramp or something. You can maybe slide too much, you know, where you're slipping out. Um, generally, I mean, especially with these wheels that I have on now, these are Spitfire Formula 4 52 millimeter 101A conical falls. I don't really have that problem. I haven't skated in an indoor park recently, so I can't say for sure on that. I'm sure I'll be sliding a little bit there, but I skate a skate light mini ramp just about every day and I'm not sliding. I feel pretty grippy on there. So for me, these are just the perfect wheel and I've been riding them for a while. I've tested many, many different types of wheels, different hardness. All right, let's do a little bit of skating now. I'm gonna show you guys some of the tricks that I'm talking about where I have to slide my wheels. So while I was skating, I realized there's a few more things that hard wheels help out with. One is when you're doing Smith grinds, feeble grinds, certain stuff like that, you don't realize there's a little bit of give happening on your wheels. So if they're soft, they could stick and you might not be able to grind. So I was just noticing as I was doing it on that small quarter pipe, I could feel my wheels sticking and I was, you know, hanging up a little bit, jumping forward. So that's one thing to consider. Another thing is, I do a lot of stall tricks, right? And I'm always landing in front side pivot fakey and kind of sliding my wheels in. So all of those tricks, it's super helpful to be able to have that little bit of leeway when sliding the wheels. I mean, you could still slide a softer wheel, you know, like you could make it happen. I just found what works best for me. So like I said earlier, you guys experiment, figure out what works for your style of skating and what feels good for you. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment. Let me know what kind of wheels you ride and I'll see you in the next one.